G'day folks and welcome back to another episode of The Bush TV. In this one, I've pulled it out of the archive. We're back in 2021, when most of you couldn't get away. But luckily for me, I could get away, so I hit the bug on High Plains up near Falls Creek for a pristine camp to walk into a couple of huts. Firstly, I camp in a beautiful spot like I just said. The weather does turn a bit nasty, but I managed to walk into Cope Hut and Wallace Hut. Wallace Hut is the oldest standing hut in the Victorian high country. After that, we check out Pretty Valley Hut over near Falls Creek, and then I head back home, and on the way, I check out McNamara's Hut. Due to bad weather, I came back the week after, camped in the same spot, except this time, the weather was absolutely pristine, so I managed to walk up Mount Cope, head over Falls Creek, and do the walk into Tawonga Huts. Sit back and enjoy this episode of The Bush TV. This episode is proudly supported by Sign Shop Australia, the Lacola Caravan Park, YV Sheds and Barns, Profit Kitchens and Admiral Towing. Ladies and gents, we're about nearly 1,600 metres above sea level, so we're pretty high up. It's pretty cold. I brought a new thermometer because I left one of my thermometers in Crow's Hut last year. So we'll get that out in a minute. We'll set up some camp, get some firewood, and then we'll get a fire going. All right, guys, so I've got a bit of wood. We've got the swag set up there. The awning's done. Everything's ready to go. Now all I've got to do is heat that fire up and uh, get some steak on the go. So tonight, guys, Caesar salad, we have some cutlets on the frying pan. 
a very basic meal. I'll try and get as much as I can done on the camera. There's the fire, the frying pan's on. We're doing a basic cook tonight. Like I said, it's pretty cold. Probably about six degrees Celsius now. It's not that cold. Well, it's been colder, right? See how we go. I'll try and get this on camera. Tell you what, they're expensive these days, these cutlets. That's going to get out of the rubbish bag. These cutlets are just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. One benefit of putting the frying pan on the seat. Oh, I've got a warm bum. It's not cold. Look at this beautiful dinner, eh? Spot on. Let's check these out. Absolutely perfect. Love it. Crank the fire up, guys. A few beers. Get the sack. Hit those walks tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm packing up from this spot. It's been wet since about, I reckon, one o'clock in the morning. Check out the size of that slug on my tarp. There's my hand. That's a worm. And a whole heap of spiders under there as well. Looks like everyone wants to keep dry. So it's not that bad, it's just light rain. It's not that cold, it's about eight degrees Celsius. So, right know, it's time to go. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It took me a bit to pack up because of the wet. That's it. I was gonna have a look at Mount Cope, but it's foggy, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I don't think it's worth it. On the way back out tomorrow, if it's not foggy and cloudy, We'll go up to Mount Cape, we'll have a look. It's meant to be pristine views up there. So let's go for a walk. We're going to hit Cope Hut and we're going to see if we can get to Wallace Hut. This is Mount Cope. And if it was a clearer day, I would have gone up to the summit just to my left and checked it out. The views are meant to be spectacular. So we're pretty high now. Second day, we're at about, uh, tipping about 16, 1700 metres on our high elevation camping trip. We're right up in a snow plain here, as you can see. Check that out. We are at the track that goes into Cope Hut. So let's go for the walk and check it out. The weather's pretty bad. So, there's a group of people stayed there apparently last night. So, I just spoke to someone then who is the school group. So, Cope Hut, it's only 400 meters, it's not a very big walk. Let's go and check it out. So, there's been a bit of snow up here last week. So, we're pretty high up, it does get cold and it can snow in summer up here. Cope Hut was built by Ski Club Victoria in 1929 after the state experienced a surge in skiing in the 1920s. This is Cope Hut. I'm not going to go inside because there's a there's a grammar school or something in there. They're hiking around the area and they're all inside there at the moment so I won't go inside. It's a nice easy walk from the road. Um, we'll head off. I'll have a quick walk around it then we'll head off. We'll have a look at Wallace Hut and then we'll wrap up the day. So it's a bit dark in there guys to film anyway. Uh, there's probably about 13 people inside, so we'll leave them be. They're gonna head out for a walk soon. We're gonna head to Wallace Hut. Just told them about the channel. If any of you guys see this, drop a comment, let me know. And I hope you enjoy the channel. Stay safe, all right, so. Walk back to the car guys and hit Wallace Hut, let's go.
All right, guys, so we're at the start where the track is that goes into Wallace Hut. We're going to walk into there. Someone just walked in in front of me, but that's all right. We'll let him go for a bit, then we'll head on down. Let's go. So on a good day, it'll be beautiful up here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a pity I missed the boat last week. I was sick. I would have come away then. Had a couple of good days. This trip was meant to be uh, good weather, but it's changed. So well, that's all right. It is what it is. It's not going to stop me. Wallace Hut is the oldest surviving hut in the Victorian high country. Originally built in 1889, like most of the huts, has been extended since. It has no modern facilities and is not used as accommodation. So the other people did say that there was a group in this hut as well. So if that's the case, we'll get some footage from the outside. The other hut, which is Cope Hut, it was a little bit dark inside anyway to get footage. It's actually not as big as I thought inside. I poked my head in and have a look. So we'll see what happens with this one. So I'm pretty sure Mount Bogong is named after a moth. Like is in, you know, like a caterpillar moth. Yeah, it's called a bogong moth. Aboriginal used to come up here every summer and uh, feast on these bogong moths. Okay, I can see the hut, guys. It's just in front of me over there. So we'll just check it out. All right, ladies and gents, this is Wallace Hut. Let's have a gander. Now it's a little bit dark in here guys, so it's hard to see. They're original floorboards. How good is that? Very cool hut, indeed. So this is Falls Creek, guys. There's a whole heap of chair lifts and things around. Just bumping this corrugated road. And we're sitting at about, well it has to be about, 1800 I think, above sea level, very close to it, actually it's not 1800, it's about, it's about 1700 here. All right, guys, this is Pretty Valley Hut. All right, she's pretty small, ladies and gents. A bit smaller than I expected, so... Yeah, I don't think we'll be staying in this hut tonight. There's not even really room for the swag in here. If you had to stay here, you would. I mean, you could roll the swag out right there. But it's a bit muddy. So... There it is. All right, guys, so McNamara's hut. I've come 25 k's, I think, from Falls Creek. I want to go and have a look at this one. And um, yeah, see how we go. The track's a little muddy in spots. I'm still in higher range two wheel drive. 
You don't want to shake those cans around too much in the back. So the hut's just here. We're going for a walk and have a look. All right, so here's McNamara's hut. All right, so this is McNamara's hut. Because check this out. All right, ladies and gents, that wraps up this trip. There is some bad weather coming as well. It's actually not that cold, but it's wet. And the weather that's coming down is pretty hard, so I'm gonna get off this mountain. We're pretty high up. It was a good night last night. Had a couple of good walks into those huts. So we'll have to come back up here when the weather's a little bit better. I wanna walk in the Taronga huts. That's um, about three k's walk from Pretty Valley Hut. So there's another trip for the bucket list. Well, here I am again in the same spot, but on a different day. And just check this out. The weather is absolutely pristine. No one's been here since me, which was last week. So I'll go and get a little bit more wood, kick back, might have a bit of a frothy, and then I might walk up Mount Cope and have a little bit of a look because last week we missed out because of the weather. Tonight, I'm trying something a little bit different. I've just made an upside down fire, all right? So I have seen this done before. What I'm gonna do is give it a go, and uh, obviously if it doesn't work, I do have a plan B. So we'll go for this walk, we'll light it later, and uh, let's see if it works, ladies and gents. How much better does this really get? Just check it out ladies and gents, we're sitting on Mount Cope. After a nice good feed, it was time to hit the swags and get ready to walk into Tawonga Huts the next day. Just get a load of what I've woken up to this morning guys. It's an absolute pristine day. I'm going to pack up this camp. I'm going to get ready to walk into Tawonga Huts. It's a four kilometre walk each way. That fire is still smoking and it's pretty cold still. But it's not as cold as it was last night.
Mount Mackay, the highest drivable peak in Australia, sitting at 1,849 metres above sea level. Well guys, I seriously soak this in while you're here. It's like, how much better does it really get? Like I said yesterday on Mount Coke. Now it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is beautiful. I can't get over the day. We're about halfway there. It's a damn 2K climb to here. It's not that hard. Just take your time here. Look at Mount Bogon in the background. How good is that? Absolutely stunning. We're sitting at about 1,780 something meters. This is absolutely perfect. What a pearler of a day. Once again, ladies and gents, that brings this to an end. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed walking into this to get this content. I mean, I love this country. This is what I love doing. I love getting out in the bush. And right now, I'm gonna walk up there to that crane on that mountain. That's about two k's. I reckon nearly an hour uphill, and then it's an hour downhill back to the car. Stay safe and stay tuned for the next one. Mm -hmm.